Hey guys, Jillian Kaplan here. Today I'm going to give you my top five tips for how to build your at-home business on social media. I've built a full-time income on part-time hours. I build my business in about an hour a day, and I built to a full-time income level while working a full-time job at a uh, a top 10 company within the US, a Fortune 10 company. And I've done some in-person networking, but I would say 95% of my customers and team has come from people I've met on social media that I haven't actually met in real life. So I'm gonna give you my top five tips for this. The first is your picture needs to be a picture of yourself, a clear headshot picture. So that someone, it's not like a super far away picture, it's not like a picture of your legs or your body or whatever. It's a picture of your face, a headshot. Um, try to make it just a picture of you. It's something so that when you're commenting, right, and it's real tiny, you can still tell who it is. That's a good judge of like, is this the right picture? When it's one of those really tiny, tiny comments, and your picture's there, they can still tell who it is. The second thing you want to do is add value. You do not want to just like, product vomit everywhere, right? You want to add value. What do people come to your page for? And it doesn't have to be add value as to what your product does. You can be like someone who's interested in health and fitness, but you give makeup tips or someone who's interested in health and fitness, but you love cloth diapering or something like that. Something where you're adding value to your audience, even if it has nothing to do with your product. You just want them to come to your page and see value. The third thing is you want to educate, inspire, and empower. So you need to be doing things that educate, inspire, empower, entertain even. So what kind of person are you? Are you kind of a serious person and your goal is to really inspire people and you want to write prolific things every single day? Or are you kind of a goofball and you want to entertain your audience? That kind of stuff, both of those things will work very, very well for you. But what you don't want to do is just be posting all this stuff that isn't, isn't educating, isn't inspiring, isn't funny, right? Isn't entertaining. And it's just there. It's just like any other person's page. If you weren't you, would you come to your page? That's a good kind of judge on are you educating, inspiring, empowering, um, and entertaining your audience. The fourth thing you want to do, and this is actually one of my favorites, is to be consistent. Um, every single day you need to show up. Three to five posts a day. I really try to stick around three, but three to five posts a day where you're adding value, where you're educating, where you're inspiring, where you're entertaining your audience every single day, no questions asked. Um, I have a great template that I use on days where I just don't know what I'm going to post about. If you need that, feel free to reach out to me. I'd be more than happy to provide it to you. Um, and I also uh, get a lot of my posting ideas from my personal development books. If you need some books to read, I'm more than happy to give you the list of my favorites. Also, feel free to reach out to me. I'd be happy to do that for you. And the fifth thing that you need to do is to be expanding your network. Because if you're talking to the same you know, 1,000, 2,000, however many people you have following you every single day, they're going to kind of get sick of it. They're going to be like, oh, here comes that girl again. Like she's not, you know, I've seen that a million times. That's fine. It's fine if those people are sick of seeing your stuff. I'm not saying they'll never come around, but while you're waiting for them to come around and join you, you've got to be expanding your network. And I would be expanding into people that you have something in common with and you have something to share with. So if you're a mom or you love dogs, or you're into makeup or you're a foodie um, or you know, you're into breastfeeding or you're not into breastfeeding and you're only into bottle feeding or you um, absolutely love a band or something. Connect with people that you have a common interest with, even if it has nothing to do with the business that you're in because it gives you a common thread in order to get to know them. So I hope you found this helpful. Um, if you have any questions, like I said, or you want my list of personal development books or my list of posting ideas, feel free to reach out to me. My email is fitresq at gmail.com or you can shoot me a message on here. Thanks, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.